Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all well. Right, this vlog might be a bit of a messy one. Not much B-roll, I don't think. We have got some tremendous mist this morning. Quite rare for mid-July. But uh, So I've shot out. I'm soaking wet already. Got the <laughs> waterproof coat, but forgot the leggings. But just couldn't, couldn't uh, miss up on a chance to get a bit of misty woodland. So come to my local woodland. Didn't want to travel too far, because you know how quick the mist disappears. I've already taken one composition, and apologies for not talking you through it, but a uh, bit of a rush job, this. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to look for another composition. I'll put the first frame up that I've taken and I'll do a bit of a voiceover and let you know what I could see and what I was taking. Well, this scene basically greeted me as soon as I'd stepped over the log that was at the entrance to the, the footpath, the walk, into this woodland. And it just stopped me in my tracks. The mist that was leading my eye round the corner Although I did stop, I really wanted to carry on walking and see what the, the scene was further around the right hand corner there. So I thought it would make a really good composition there. As you probably noticed in the B-roll there, for a start, I went for a portrait composition, but it just didn't, it didn't, it did work. I'll pop it up after this frame. But um, it's just the way that the mist got thicker and thicker as it went right-handed. And I just had to include that in the frame if you like really just to lead the viewer's eye round off to the right and there's a little bit of a, a footpath a bit of uh, worn grass as you can see on the the bottom sort of right third of the frame so that's where the viewer's eye starts i guess and then goes up into the trees perhaps to see the overhanging branch there and then obviously leads your eye off into the thick mist and uh, yeah a fantastic scene i just had to stop now obviously Photography, especially woodland photography, is so difficult during the summer. But um, I think this works okay anyway. And I just had to get out with this mist. I say earlier, like I said earlier on, I woke up, opened the curtains, and wow, um, I've been longing for some misty mornings. Obviously, you, you, you sort of prepare yourself that nothing's going to happen through summer, and you really are waiting for the sort of autumn months, autumn and, and winter months before you get any conditions like this. So, just had to get out there. But um, yeah, so this is obviously the landscape orientation, which I think works best. And uh, I'll pop the portrait frame up next for you to have a look at and be really interesting to see which one you prefer. Let me know in the comments below. the mist is dispersing now as suspected there's a bit of breeze getting up now and there's a bit of rain as well so uh, it didn't last too long what a mad rush but uh, I'm still happy with that first frame which you'll have already seen now but uh, anyway this frame that I've stopped I'm at 70 mil and it it's more of a general view really but we've got some lovely beech and ash trees leaning in with a lovely set of leaves nice lush green canopy just forming a nice tunnel if you like, a nice avenue, we've got an, uh, a little track where people walk around so that's a nice leading line and it does lead your eye off into the mist but um, yeah it's more of a general view this one but uh, quite happy with it, it is what it is, you've got to work with what you've got in front of you but say that mist is going now. I did have a wonder about you know deep into the woodland and I did come across probably a bit of a marmite frame really, I'm not sure if I like it or not but it was a real big broken branch and then behind that broken branch was a lovely bit of light coming through the canopy. So I'm not sure if that'll, I've tried several different compositions but I'm not sure if that'll work. If it does, I'll, I'll pop it up after this frame. So settings wise, I'm on F11 just to give me a nice bit of depth because I want, I focused on probably the third or fourth 
beech or ash, I can't think what it is, see what it is now, along the avenue. So I've got a nice bit of depth leading off. I don't mind if there's a drop off at the back because it's where that misty area is. But uh, yeah, I'm at a third of a second. There is a bit of breeze, like I say, but it's, it's hardly moving the leaves. So I've checked on the back of the screen, they look all right. And I'm at ISO 100. So yeah, a nice, a nice scene, if you like, nice scene to, to finish the vlog off. I hope you like it, guys. I'll pop it up now. Well, the sun's trying to burn through now. All the mist has dispersed and uh, really bright, harsh day now. So, uh, but <laughs> I quite enjoyed that mad dash. And uh, thanks to the mist when I opened the curtains, otherwise I wouldn't have had the pleasure of having a wander around my local woods this morning. So uh, jobs are good. And well, I hope you like them few frames, guys. Nothing earth shattering, but uh, just nice to be out all the same. I always say that and it's thanks to photography really that I wander about and we do get out don't we and uh, if it weren't for photography I wouldn't be visiting half these places I know that for a fact so uh, anyway yeah jobs are good and I hope you enjoyed them few frames guys if you can remember to give the video a like that'd be much appreciated does help out the old YouTube algorithm and uh, do consider subscribing if you haven't yet to see more of the same content and yeah jobs are good and thanks ever so much for watching guys have a great week see you next time Take care.